Hello lovelies, it's Tia here from Motive Hair and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message is funny, flexed, blessed and full of abundance, flexed, fleshed, that's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to roll with it, okay. Um, yeah, you know what, that does kind of go with it because I, I got a download, okay, and I was shown a man, it was a man that was in like all these little squares. There was like all these little squares that were like containers and they were stacked on top of each other. And there was a man and he was in one of them. He was trapped in one of them. And I heard my spirit guide said, he's in prison now. He's in prison now. Okay. Somebody here was on the top of the wheel and now they're on the bottom of the wheel. Okay. Um, a hearing spirit say like bullet dodge, like you dodge being in a relationship with this person or you dodge, you dodge something here with this person. You could have dodged some kind of, look, 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 they tried to take you off the game. They did in some type of way or another. Now, whether not, whether that be like fate, like finally, like you know what I'm saying? Like, out the game. Or whether or not they tried to uh, get you fired from a space. They tried to out you from a group. They tried to make you look like something that you weren't is what I'm really getting. But whatever this person, whatever kind of betrayal this person was trying to do, is in reverse. Like, it's over. Whatever this person tried to do to you, um, it did not succeed. And I feel like this person tried to do it to you because they felt like that you were innocent or you were naive or you were possibly dumb. Okay. Like, this little dog looks like the cutest little thing ever, but it just looks like, you know, it doesn't know what's going on, you know? Like, it just looks like, they're just like, ah, ha, ha, like, ooh, you know, say, like, this was, somebody thought you were like an airhead, or they thought you had no idea what was happening here. Okay, that's just like a crazy picture of the Pope there. Somebody not, might not have understood that underneath this facade... That underneath this facade was like a higher font energy or like a very spiritual energy here was hidden underneath a very like innocent facade. What does this say? It was lit fam. It was lit fam. It's like on somebody's grave. Okay. It was lit fam, but it's in reverse. This could have been somebody in your family. This is reminding me of, like, what is it, Cain and Abel? I said that earlier, or, or last time that this card came out, that it reminded me of that something here, that the energy between you and this, between collective and uh, that person in that, in that reading, excuse me, goodness, was reminding me of, like, a Cain and Abel, where it was, like, jealousy. The jealousy was somebody who should have been a family or somebody who, who should have... Who should have known better or should have taken more time. Again, I'm just getting premature. Like this person prematurely was like, let's go. Like, yes, that one. We'll take advantage of that one. They're stupid. They don't know what's going on. You know? And they thought it was about to be like lit. They thought it was about to be easy peasy. They thought they had it like in the bag. But now this person has found themselves in jail. <laughs> Now this self person has found themselves, you know, caught up. Yeah, they're caught up. They're not. They're not being allowed to do that. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look how. So this is like some kind of meme for for somebody where it looks like somebody here is telling you like, oh, good job, great job, you're doing it, you did this. Tell me why this person right here were in the back where they're saying, way to go. They really don't look like they really care, do they? Like, look at them. Like, compared to everybody else, their faces are smiling. They're like, wow, you did it. This person's like, way to go. They don't even look like they're really clapping. They look like their hands are kind of intense. And I think they're supposed to look like that on purpose. But this person is just like, if I have to... That's what it's kind of giving me. They're like, if I have to, if I have to, this is somebody that was either in your camp, in your family, in your friend circle at work. They tried to pretend to be your friend. They were not your friend. They had it for you. They had it out for you behind the scenes, behind the scenes. They had it out for you. And some got a betrayal that this person, you know, was trying to get <laughs> done onto you. They getting caught up. They're getting caught up and they're just like, I didn't do it. I had nothing to do with it. Like, I'm innocent. I 
But what about this person and what they did and what they did? I'm hearing that this person might have accused you of doing something to distract them from the wrongdoing that they were doing. <laughs> now this person is trapped on the outside. They're trapped looking in or trapped out. Like, look at the, they kinda, he kind of looks like he's behind bars a little bit. I know he's looking out the window, but it's kind of giving me this behind the bars energy. Like where they're trapped away from you energetically or actually physically could be trapped away from you. Yeah. And spirit's like, so long, fucker. <laughs> You're like, get out of here. Like, goodbye. Like, goodbye. Yeah. Because this person did something prematurely. They like, they could have labeled you a nut. They could have been really quick to be like, this person's crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They could have gone and spread a bunch of rumors and shit about you behind your back. This person wants to come back into your circle now. They want to get back close to you, but they're trapped away from you. They're in some kind of either like actual physical jail or physical or they might not actually be like in jail, in prison, like in an actual jail. They could just feel trapped in their circumstances and their circumstances could have them trapped where they are no longer able to either be able to afford to do the things that they were doing or they can't afford the time or they can't afford the energy. Like they are trapped in a situation where it's like now you're being forced. They're being forced to leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. They could be watching you, watching you from a distance. Now, like this person, if you're looking at this person on social media, they're, t they're saying this is fine. Everything's fine is everything is literally the house is burning down around them. Okay. And they're like, this is fine. There's a, it's reminding me of another card that's in this deck, which I saw before I even start. Like I saw in my mind's eye before I even started pulling these cards, which is, I saw that card, which is why I picked up this deck to use in this reading, which is like a picture of a house burning down. There's a little girl like turn around, looking at the camera and she's just like, like, that's the image that I'm seeing. And again, <laughs> Oh, that grandma! That that picture of the queen gets me every time. After I had after I it had it sniff against the dinner reading that I said the other day, it just it's it's so funny to me. She looks so devious in that card, and that's funny because that that was out too. That card came out too. Wow. Okay. Again, another monkey on a phone. I don't know what's going on with this. You know what it's reminding me of? It's reminding me of the Wizard of Oz, where like the the Wicked Witch of the East, I think she is, right? She has whatever, the one that lives. She has all of the no, it's the Wicked Witch of the West, because the Wicked Witch of the East is the one that gets like Dorothy like lands a house on her, right? Whichever one. Um so the sister that's still like alive, or that's still <sighs> Yeah. And it, and it's kind of how like how that how the Wicked Witch like Dorothy didn't try to land the house on her. The, the house just landed on her when she landed, right? And then she appeared and she's like, oh, you took out my sister. You're my mortal enemy. And Dorothy's like, I had no idea. Like, I wasn't in control of where the house fell, dude. Like, I wasn't even control in control of the house being picked up and being taken in the first place, right? Like... I had no idea I was being transported to this magical land and here I just and here I and here I did I just fell into the middle of this magical situation here into this beef that's happening here and I had no idea right I was innocent I had no idea what was happening and I just got thrust into the middle of this you know and here it is where you might have done something either to this person or you could have done something to this person's sibling or to somebody that they were connected to. And then this sibling called this person in as backup, like, Hey, help me take care of this person. Help me, help me figure out what's going on with them. Trust in the unknown. Somebody here like call, could have called in reinforcements. Okay. Because they didn't like what they were seeing. This person has some kind of way of spying on you or looking at you. I really feel like this per you're seen as the as as the empress here. You're seen as the empress energy. I feel like this person is really jealous. You're seen in like the summer, like joyful, joyful energy. You're being seen as this empress energy and a sunny, joyful energy here where you are creating nectar. You're creating abundance. You're tied into the 
the happiness of the universe. And like my cat down there, sorry, you guys got here. She's in heat. So she's mowing around the house everywhere. You could be putting out that kind of energy. And this person is like, F this, I hate this. Let's, let's get this be. Or like I said, you might've done something, whether or not you realize it or not, you stepped on this person's toes in some type of way. And they are pissed. They are pissed. Look at this. They're crying. He's crying. <sighs> yeah, right. Like you're my you're my sidekick. You're like I'm calling you in, and me and you together with our authority, we're gonna take out this person. But whatever kind of betrayal that tried to happen here. It was, it was, it didn't work out. I feel like you have elders here. You could have um, spirit guides, elders that are here that were helping you. <laughs> Your star family, okay. Alien chilling with the glasses on. That's so funny because they also have they're and they're chilling there with their phone in their hand too. Okay. Your star family might've come in clutch for you. They might've sent messages out to like other people, other star seeds here to help come to your rescue or help protect you. Whether or not you realize it or not, you could have had people praying for you, um, going to bat for you. Um, if you mentioned that you were going through something, you could have had people being like, Oh, I pray this person is, is healing or is protected. You could have had people lighting candles for you, saying prayers for you, and you didn't even have any idea they were doing it for you. And these are people that are your soul family or your star family. You know, if somebody was out here lighting candles of protection or praying praying good things onto me, I, I appreciate that. I receive it and, I, and I'm very grateful for it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, look. <laughs> Weird, weirdos unite. Let's go. <laughs> they were like, you know what it is, fam? And then we make it do what it do in here. You know what it is. Yeah, if somebody was coming against you, if they coming against well, they coming against one of us, they coming against all of us. We're gonna squad up. Like, no, no, ma'am. You thought you thought it was funny. Yeah, exactly. You thought it was funny. Now look who's crying now. You thought it was funny. Look, look who's crying now. Look who's upset now. Look who's betrayed now. Again. This person is crying. And, oh my god, oh no. Yes. Because they didn't realize. <gasps> Look at this. Okay. I don't know. This person. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> this person might have had to deal with some ish. Yeah. They. <sighs> Look. You know how they say like that 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 they like you know, baby seals that they like come up behind them and you know rock it out dot knock on them right with you know there's something here about the fact that you were like kind of like this this innocent something that somebody here was trying to like do you out of the game push you out of the game because you were very innocently exposing something or doing something like they wanted to extort some kind of research for uh, research okay resource is what i meant to say some kind of resource or some kind of research out of you and then they wanted to be able to like okay now close you down now disappear and pretend like now that i got what i needed from you i need you to just disappear and go away and you know i won't i, I don't need anybody to ever know that i ever did anything to you or that you ever were significant or you meant anything like Yeah, look, there's that picture I was talking about. Wow. Shh. Can I not do that again, please? And thank you. And that's what this person wanted you to do. They thought that you would just lay down and go away. Look. Look. Something about you being on the internet, being on social media, this person is watching you through a phone or through a computer and they're just like, wait a minute, why aren't you just like going away? I 
Like, I don't get it, right? Like, this is kind of supposed to be like an older person being like, I don't get technology. I don't get how this is working. Maybe that's how they expected you to be. They expected you to be young and naive and not understand how this works. <laughs> well. I, well, too bad. Yeah, now this person, hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Yeah. Yeah, they're feeling uncomfortable. They're being put in a very uncomfortable, awkward situation. Okay? Because, look, this part, like, you peeped it. Like, you peeped it. You, you were like, mm, what do I get out of this? Mm, what is... Mm, you know, mm, what, mm, what's happening here? I don't really trust you. You got something in it for me? And if you got spirit gods here that are just like, yay, like you got it. You did it. Ancestors coming to put in work here. Showing up for you. There is something here also, too, about long distance, because in that vision, I was also shown a person and they were talking about how about how long distance relationships don't work, like something doesn't work long distance. And in the and in the vision, I was talking and I was like, well, why did this person is having to move anyway? Like, why didn't they just do this? And everybody that was there, was talking to me, was just like, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't do that. So there's something here significant about, you know, being like, well, long distance relationships does, doesn't work. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but Stargazer, set your sights higher. This person has been watching from a distance for sure. I feel like it bothered this person that you, that you very much so seemed how to, you seemed like kind of just like la 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 la, and they were sending spell work or they were doing stuff against you, and it was like bouncing off of you or like you'd just be walking down the street and maybe like your strap would break or something. You'd be like, oh no, oh well, and you just carry on. And this person was like, their strap broke. That's all. I sent them a death spell, and all that happened was like a piece of their clothes broke or something, or like a necklace broke or something. Like what? Like, there was something here about, like, whatever they were doing against you was, was not at all what they thought was going to happen because they thought you were so naive. They thought you were so slow. They didn't think that you had any kind of protection or that anybody was looking out for you. Great teacher. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. So, no, you you got like ascended masters, you got star beings, star family. For some of you, it could be actually like Jesus, okay? God, Jesus, Allah, whoever, somebody like them. So something very powerful, a very high wise teacher. Like a, for some of you, this is a very like protective ascended master as well. I feel like you have a very high purpose here. And this person didn't realize this when they came against you. They didn't realize when they came against you, like who they were going to come against. Star, ancestor, and snake. Follow the voice of your soul and shed old skin. I feel like this person did not take the time to look inside and see the being that you are on the inside. They were very much so like... This person could have found you or could have had dealings with you before you had a spiritual awakening or before you found out your true soul purpose or your calling or who you really are on a soul level. It, it's given me very much that. It's given me this person did not take the time to, to recognize who you really were. And so they came against you thinking that it was going to be easy peasy, that they were just going to be making lemonade and, you know, whatever. I'll just shoop, shoop, shoop this person and it won't mean anything, but... You're this person's down, like something about going against you is, is, is this person's downfall and whoever they brought to go against you, it's their downfall as well. 
Yeah, I just heard your spirit guide say you're not the one. Like, you're not the one they thought you were. Spring, seeds your seeds, see your seeds grow. So whatever this person has been trying to do, like you're still flourishing on the other side of it. You are or you will be flourishing. Yeah. For some of you, you might have had a pause energy. Um, take care of your needs when you had to like step back and take care of your needs during the winter. Okay. Okay. Or if it wasn't lining up to the actual winter, you could have gone through like a winter phase in your life, in your progress, in your spiritual journey, and your you know, you could have just been very shut down and been very kind of like hibernating, shut, kind of shut down energy, closing down your energy off to new things and new experiences. But I'm hearing protection and you were taking care of yourself. And on the other side of this, you're coming out high priest. Like I said, with that Hierophant energy, with the Pope energy, you're coming out a high priest on the other side of this. Stab, trust and thrive. You are trusting and you're thriving. You're getting now into this night energy. Where you're being brave and honest and stepping up and listening to your truth. But you had to go inside and go into, into a silent place to find that truth inside of yourself. Now, Spirit is telling you to ground yourself in this new reality of your new self. Broken arrow. Embra embrace the energy of peace. And to embrace the energy of peace. You are, all, you are protected. So embrace the energy of peace that is around you right now. And you are being asked to transmute. You could have Archangel Metatron around you right now as well. Okay. But you have this kind of like, see with the dove here, you have this peace and see behind there in the background is the flower of life. Right. There is this kind of like seed that is being planted and being grown inside you, but it only came about after this old, through this activation, you went through some kind of activation here and you glue up on them. And it's almost like this person attacked you because they thought you were, you know, you were a little sheep and then they hit you and they got a shot back from a dragon. You know, they got a shot. They got a shot back from this big sea serpent and they're like, oh my God, I am so sorry. I did not realize who you were, who you had protecting you or who you were a God. You know, you're, I didn't realize you had this old goddess or this old energy. I didn't realize that you had Mother Gaia, that you had a whole spirit team protecting you. I am so sorry. I had no idea. Well, it's too late. <laughs> well, it's really too late because you sent that energy out and it has to come back to you. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Exactly. I said that they shot out this energy out towards you and they had no idea. You see how this small person is casting that big shadow behind them? You know, they had no idea what you had protecting you or who you have or who you really are on the inside. They kind of activated this energy inside of you. Shift your perspective. Yeah. And it shifted your perspective. It, it, it like awakened you in some type of way. It awakened something deep dormant inside of you and spirit is saying, stay grounded. That's also my Archangel Raphael energy there with all that green heart chakra energy. And again, they're encouraging your spirit guides are encouraging you to not like to not be in the energy of shooting shots back at this person. Allow your spirit team to handle it. And I think that's what you did. I think that you were kind of just like, what? Like, I'm gonna light a few candles, I'm gonna say a few prayers, I'm gonna dust some salts around, or I'm gonna do this, you know, I'm gonna light a candle, I'm gonna say a prayer to Archangel Michael or something like that. And then this person is getting major shots back thrown at them, and they're just like. I didn't think it was going to be this way. Like, like you tricked me. Like I thought you were just a nobody, but turns out you're like this thing. Okay. So, um, the, you know what they're showing me? They're showing me like the beginning of, uh, beauty and the beast where the prince is really mean to like the old haggard lady. And then she unveils herself as being like this, like imprint, like this, um, high priestess, you know, kind of energy where she places like a curse on, on the the prince to look the way that he acts you know um to be seen for who he really is um so that people will see them for, you know see this person for the beastly person that they truly are and how and how like mean and wicked they truly are it is some kind of energy along that where this person shot fire at you was like get out of here old ugly hag and then you were just like ah, like goddess energy like excuse me what ping and this person was like, oh, I have no idea. But there's some kind of energy here of you unveiled this person's mask. Like people thought this person was like a good person. They had no idea that this person was the type of person who was 
doing this behind the scenes. So I don't know if this person tried, you know, and they're the type, not only that, but they're a coward because they're the type of person that'll go up against somebody that they think they're so much stronger than, you know, they think they're so much stronger. They thought and that was the point. That's why they targeted you because they thought that you were going to be really easy to take care of. They thought it was going to be so easy and they thought that you just roll over and just, okay, well, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just leave this world because you don't, because you don't want to deal with me. I guess I'll just, you know, what? No, no, the hell? Uh, okay, I don't know what that is, but you're just kind of like, la, 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 da, 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 like, whatever, I'm out of here. Like, anyway, and I, and I feel this person being like, how? Like, you don't look like you're as powerful that you are, like, you don't, and you're kind of just going with the flow and just kind of like, la, 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 like, this person will send you, like, you know, like all this big, powerful voodoo bad stuff to you. And then you'll just like put on some music and dance and it'll just like, psh, you know, it, it's kind of giving me this very like, la 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 la, ha, I don't even know that I'm doing it. Or I don't even know that, you know, like I'm performing magic or that I'm doing, you know, it's like this person is like, you don't even realize like how, how truly how powerful you are. Like you're kind of grasping it. You're kind of getting it, but it's like, Oh my gosh, like this is crippling. Like I sent one shot at you and it took down me and my whole family and my whole crew and um, all of my evil friends and it disconnected me from all of my connections. It's like I shot one shot at you and I got like times 200 back. Like what the heck are you? What are you? Like, and you're just like, la, 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 just going about your day. And this person is like, <laughs> get away from me. What are you? Like, no, leave me alone, please. Like, yes. You're just like, you know, hi, I'm, you know, and this person's just like, ah. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, look, you're just like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong with you. I don't know why you're doing this. And your spirit gods were like, who made you cry? Who did this to you? And you were like, that person did. And they were like, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I don't think so. They did what? No, 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 no. Let me come down here and handle some business. And now this person's like, got to go by. Like they're trying to run away. They're trying to run away and and no. But your spirit guy said, Oh hey, hey motherfucker. You think you were going away? Hey, they're popping up. I don't know if this person is being hunted or this person is like this person's got all kind of like negative energy around them and they're just like all I did was say I didn't like that person or something. You know, no, they did. They did more than that. Yeah, they're just in there, just like, uh huh. I don't, I don't get it. Like, why? I barely did anything. Why am I getting like? Why is my whole entire life falling apart? Yes, and they're just. And also, you know, I think it's really because they kept doing stuff over and over and over and over again, and then it's like they did so much. And then it took them a while to see like, oh my God, like I did that like three months ago and it's happening now. I did that like two months ago and now this is happening now. Oh God. And they're, they're kind of getting this, like seeing like, excuse me, but it took it a minute. It took them a minute to like realize like one-to-one -one comparison, like, oh, I did this or said that's now, now it's happening to me. Like, yeah, spirit says you're standing your ground. Stand your ground and stay rooted and grounded in where you are. Okay? You keep seeing this whole situation from a higher perspective. There's something here about you being above this energy or like being above it, like observing it or like learn from this energy. And you're like, okay. <sighs> okay. This person is in judgment. You walked away and said, okay. You know, Spirit said, we'll handle the situation. You said, okay. And you walked away and you said, Spirit will handle the situation. Let me tell you, Spirit is handling the situation. Handling the situa situation. This person is being betrayed. They're being lied on. They're being, yeah. yeah. They're, they feel so apologetic now, Page of Cups. Seven of Cups. They are, they're just... They're, uh, they're for a long time. Yeah, ten of wands. 
I, for a long time, I think they were like, who's doing this to me? And I think for a long time, they thought that you were sending shots at them. Like, instead of realizing that it was just their own energy coming back at them, they thought they were sending shots at you, and then you were sending shots at them, and then you they were sending shots, and you were sending stuff back. But it was really their whole time, it was just them sending stuff, and then their own stuff coming back on them, you know? And when they were getting the stuff back, they were like, see, see, this person is just, you know, see, like they're, they're lying or they don't get it. They're, they're hiding. They're behind a mask, six of pentacles. Yeah. They thought, they thought they were sending out the, they thought it was like an equal exchange. They thought that y'all were like sending shots back and forth, sending magic back and forth to each other or whatever, but no justice. Things are being balanced out because this person, because you didn't take, you didn't take some kind of revenge on this person or something like that. Spirit said, yeah, queen of pentacles, you sat in your power and said, anyway. I'm going to just sit here, you know, and now whatever, all they sent out to you is bullseye going right back, going right back to them. So, oh, sorry, I thought I was about to sneeze. Something here is significant about strawberries. I don't know what. Oops, I don't, it fell face down. I'm not paying attention to it. Ah, the Empress. I said that earlier, didn't I? I said that you're an empress energy here. Exactly. Because I was being so drawn into like all this all this fruit and everything that's behind this person. See all the fruit and the, the grapes and the apples and the strawberries and everything. Which grapes don't grow on vines like that. Strawberries don't grow in big giant bushes like that. But it doesn't matter. You know, the, it's, it's this energy here of something is growing, right? Something is growing and you're about to come into. Like, it's kind of giving me this kind of energy of like the Empress is here growing and then eventually you're going to settle into this Queen of Pentacles energy where it is that you have, like, see, because see how she's pregnant here. And then here, the kittens have all already been born and the, the pile of, you know, of coins is tucked behind them and they're settled in, you know, they're maturing and they don't just have just the apple tree. Now they're, you know, now they're, whole harvest has come in and here now they have their money from collecting the apple tree and now they've replanted the apple tree and the apple tree is going and with that money they've reinvested and they've they've started you know a strawberry farm they've started growing grapes they've started making wine they've started cultivating and continuing and amplifying using this this uh this inner this Empress energy to multiply and continue to multiply and reinvest in themselves. There's something here about you reinvest, reinvesting your energy. And that's what the spring energy is here is you were taking a moment of gestation kind of right. This Empress energy, allowing this to grow, allowing this to be ready to, to give birth. Right. And now that, you know, you have grown and you've gestated, you're about to bloom right? You're really about to broom your, your, see your seeds grow. Your seeds are going to start growing all these seeds that you planted. Exactly. Six of wands and you're going to have victory. You're going to have something here, right? It was all part of a karmic contract for it to go down this way. Okay. It was all part of your karmic contract for it to go down this way. And now you're about to be here being able to show those blooms or you'll be acknowledged in some type of way. Emperors on the back of the deck. So you're going to have very balanced energy here. And I definitely feel like for a lot of you, okay, I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you have an emperor or empress. You have like your, like a counterpart energy coming in here with you. Cause look, look who's over here. Look, look at this. You know what I'm saying? Like, look how it's like the pregnant person. And then look, the emperor has the black cat that looks kind of pregnant sitting on their lap. Right. And then here they are with all the kittens, right? Because the emperor is the energy of like being seated, right? Like the emperor is the energy of being seated with an idea, being seated with a baby, right? It doesn't have to be an actual baby. It could be a project, it could be something, it could be yourself giving birth to a new version of yourself, right? So you were seeded and implanted with these seeds. You had to go through a winter time, which was the transition, the, the gestation period. And now you are about to give birth. You have all these, and it's a, you have all these kittens, all this, all this, and everything, this ace of, ace of wand, um, ace of pentacles here. That's showing itself here. 
And this emperor and emperor energy, whether or not this is you and somebody else, or it's you and your the both versions, the both sides of yourself coming together to give birth to this to this stable energy here. So spirit is saying, like, put to rest, be in the energy of peace, let go of all whatever this drama was, whatever this person's drama was in the past. It's over exactly hermit. You've been in hermit energy here because this drama was taking place in some type of way. The spirit said they were clearing away your enemies or clearing away people. It's like getting it out of the way. Go ahead and having it done here so that you could get past all of this. You know, they didn't want like your ultimate victory to come in and then have these people come up against you like these people. Go ahead and like, pre again, I said like prematurely, they tried to come against you and stop you from being able to even turn into this Empress energy. They saw you being this Empress energy to begin with, right? You know, they saw you being this Empress energy. They saw you with that pregnant, you know, Mother Earth kind of energy. They saw you in that energy and they wanted to cut that off before it could come to fruition, but really, you just went into hermit mode, right? You went into, you pulled out your protective shields. You are protected here, okay? You are being guided over by your angels and your, you know, and your guardian angels and whatnot. Wait, is it out already? Am I looking for something that's already here? Yes. So that could be a clue. You could be really, 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 really look, looking and searching and searching for something like what, like what is it? And it could be right here, right in front of your face. Like it's all, you've already been given the download or you've already been given the idea or you've already been, you already know the answer spirit is saying. It just isn't time. Like the answer is already within you, you know? You know how I know this happens with me sometimes, like my spirit guides will give me information or give me stuff. And I'm like, I don't understand what that means, you know, and and although it could be something that's right in front of my face, it might take me a little bit of time to be like, oh, oh, my God, like this and this and that, that was meant this and this meant that. And oh, it all just kind of clicks into place. And it's like all information that I've already known, but it was not divine timing for me to put it together and for me to put one and two together yet. Right. And so that could be the kind of information that spirit is saying, these seeds are growing, whether you realize it or not, you were doing things. Now you're preparing your body, you're preparing your mind, you're preparing your spirit, you're preparing something here. Okay, you are laying the groundwork for this, for when these seeds come up, you're going to have the resources, you're going to have the things that you need to water these seeds to create this garden here. So whatever you're going through now, whatever trials and tribulations that you are, you know, going through this with these people that came against you or this person that came against you probably really woke you up. And it probably really helped you learn about certain types of people or certain things. You probably learned a lot through going through whatever this was in your past. Okay. And that's exactly, and that's the Ace of Pentacles that you need, okay? That's the Ace of Pentacles that you need that's going to come in and help you to be activated, okay? To get that Wheel of Fortune energy here. Absolutely. So whatever this was in the past, it took you out of being out of the bottom of the wheel and put you on the top of the wheel. It took you out of a karmic cycle. It woke you up out of a karmic cycle. There was some kind of energy here, some kind of maturing that you needed to do in this energy right here, okay? Because you went from the Page of Cups up to the King of Cups. Look, and there's the Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay. You needed to go through this maturity. But there's something here too, but like where they're saying me, telling me that the Queen of Cups is a little bit higher up than the King of Cups. And it's a it's kind of just in uh, in a sense, because they wanted you to be, it's like here, you're kind of just playing around. You're figuring it out emotionally, how you feel, what's going on with the King of Cups energy. It's like you're acknowledging it, but you're not quite in a state where you're willing to be open and honest about it and willing to share about it and willing to understand exactly how it plays a role. And then you're going to be able to step into this Queen of Cups energy here where you're able to offer this cup, offer your knowledge, offer the fact that you went through this with other people, you know? So for some of you, you could have been meant to go through something and then to help guide a collective on the other side of it. But for some of you, you could be more like, this is kind of like the Hermit energy where you're becoming aware of it yourself. Cause that's what a King of Cups is, right? They're aware of their emotions, but they don't necessarily, they're not guided by their emotions or they're not very up 
upright, forthcoming with that emotion, right? They have this cup, but they're not offering it. In fact, they're holding it back so that you can't even see what's really going on in it. Not like this queen of cups who is here offering, you know, this cup, offering this and actually letting the love and the information spill out of it here. So for emotionally, you definitely could have been going through this big emotional maturity here where you went from being like kind of playful and not really taking it serious to taking it very seriously, but then, and then to being very open and honest about like, I know who I am. I know what I want. I know how I feel. This is what I went through. This is how I feel about it. You know, um, this is what I learned from going through it. And this is how I open, even though I went through this, I opened myself back up. I opened my energy back up. I was willing to come back to this sense of state where I am still, I am not naive, but I am still young at spirit. You know, I still have that youthful love spirit, even though I've been hurt in the past or even though I've been lied to, I still believe in love. I still believe in, you know, God, I still believe in protection. I still believe in the fact that I am meant to move forward and, you know, there's something here about this energy. Like it's so play, like look how it, it has more of a playful energy to it. A, a lot more of an open. There's like this really beautiful breeze blowing in this queen is a little, no, like her throne is back there, but she's not sitting on it. She's up. She's like part of the people here. She's not like above anybody on an island, on an island all by themselves, surrounded by their emotions, not explaining how they really feel, right? There's all this life and all this, everything happening around them, but they're kind of aloof or they're kind of, uh, separated themselves. They've separated themselves. They've closed down their heart, you know, because, you know, they needed some time. They needed to go into hermit mode and they needed to find out how they really feel. In this King, Queen of Cups energy, you can be more in the in the full energy where you have you, you know your throne, you know your place, you know who you are, which is why you feel comfortable getting off that throne and getting out there, intermingling and being playful. You know, there's like this winds of change. Even look, see how all of this energy here where the shore is coming in and lapping. There's a lot of movement energy to me here. Like there's this breeze blowing. I can even almost see like these palm trees swaying, you know, like this cat is like playing around. The fish are jumping up. The dolphins are playing and playing around in the background. And it's like, there's this energy hub of, I know who I am. I know what my power is and I'm willing to have an open heart about it. I'm willing to be honest and know who I am, you know, but I'm not ignorant, but I'm not, I'm innocent, but that doesn't mean that I am, you know, a fool to be taking, you know, to be taken advantage of. I kind of know what's going on. Yeah, you put in enough work and got enough experience here that you kind of, you're stronger than you were before. You're more ready to step out and to be and, and to have this come, you know, two of pinnacles. There was like this kind of going back and forth energy that you were in. You were going back and forth trying to balance out this energy of, okay, like I can, I could ground this Empress energy and allow this to ground in here, or, you know, I still might let it tip over to the other side and not mature and not allow myself to, you were kind of, yeah, you were in this in-between state that's being represented here by this King of Pinnacle, or, sorry, not King of Pinnacles, King of Cups, to where it's like, what should I do? Which side should I take? Should I go up? Should I go down? Should I shut back down and allow everything that I've gone through to keep me from maturing, keep me from walking down this path, you know, keep me in this kind of sense of just kind of playing around and not really taking it seriously, right? And then it's almost like you started taking it too seriously and you taking it very, very seriously, kind of like shut your energy down a little bit. It lopped that kind of energy off for you. You weren't very open. You weren't going out. You weren't experiencing life the way that spirit is encouraging you to experience life now. Yeah, exactly. Four of Pentacles, you locked it all up inside and look, spirit was telling you, hey, there's an open window here. Hey, you should leave. Hey, we should get out of here. You know, you're, you're keeping yourself trapped here in this place, right? You're keeping yourself trapped here in the dungeon being like, I'm not letting go of this, you know? And spirit was like, hey, come here, come here. You know, a lot like don't, you know, and it's so funny too, because this cat energy here, the way that I have it laid out here on down on the table, this cat energy is falling on this this side over here right because you were kind of going back and forth should i take it seriously or should i not see how this cat energy that's that black cat here is jumping on this side like telling you go this way you know tip to this side tip to this this energy of being kind and open-hearted and loving and understanding 
Don't let it harden you or keep you locked away because it is your destiny to become that open-hearted person who does share this energy in a healthy way with healthy boundaries, you know, before you could have been, yeah, and you're not meant to do it alone either. Look, do you see how here, how you're, how you're sharing this energy here and see how you have the cup and you're dumping the water out of the cup and see how the fish are jumping up right there. Look at this three of cups. Here you are with friends and family sharing that cup or people are sharing in that energy and they're rejoicing and sharing in that energy. It's almost like people are toasting here to this energy that you've made here. It's almost like your star energy is giving me like you, you, yeah, it's giving me star energy where you're taking this energy like from the well, like from the ocean, from this kind of like this and you're taking that energy and you're giving it and like pouring it out and creating like a new source, a new well source energy here for others. And other people are dipping their cups into that and cheersing and saying, yes, like here we are, you know, here these people are that you're sharing that energy with drip, drip, drip down into like these fish dancing and hear those same fish dancing here, you know, and other people are growing and learning from that. You know, other people are expanding and look how here again, there's the black cat in the background. Okay. And this black cat is above these other two cats and they're playing with these butterflies that are dancing around, which is about transformation. Like you here are meant to share your transformational energy that you went to and you're, and you're here to help other people share that same information, you know, share and, and bathe and celebrate in this, in this age of, Oh my God, y'all, it's making me so emotional. Like, it's making me want to cry like it's so beautiful it's like this energy of like you didn't go through all the things that you went through for no purpose you know like you are actually going to come to a place where you are going to be able to heal yourself from the from the ish from the from the toxicity from the persecution from people not being on your side, people not understanding who you are and you're going to transform and come to this place where you're actually helping other people, other people that have felt the way that you have or gone through what you have gone through and you're going to raise up those other people and help them to transform and help them to feel better. You know, and even if that's just your close friends and your family or whether or not it's a large group of people, whether or not you're changing people on a global, a local or just your local family, you know, you are going to be making a big change, a big splash in your life and you're going to see a big difference between you know your life before when you were unawakened when you were keeping who you really are locked away inside and then when you went through this transformational moment and you bloomed and you exploded this empress energy and everything that you were holding inside this vessel was growing you you know was growing you in here and helping you to give birth to something onto this earth you know something really beautiful you know, your energy is magnificent. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're the magician here. Look at you. There's that black cat standing there with you, helping you to get, like almost leading you through this journey. You had a really strong spirit guide leading you through this journey here. Okay. Leading you here to this journey to you becoming the magician where you have, right? Where you had that, that ace of wands, which is the emperor card, the ace of cups, which is the empress card come together to help give you the ace of pentacles which is you know this energy manifesting in in the 3d world right now what's this ace of swords energy now it's time for ace of swords energy which is like the proof like the putting it out there yeah there's something here that spirit is telling you walk away you know, walk away from keeping it locked up inside of you. Walk away from keeping the truth, from keeping your experience, from keeping who you really are, from keeping your gifts, from keeping, you know, your dreams and what you really want to do. Like walk away from, oh, excuse me, from keeping that locked up down inside of you. Feel love and comforted and know that you will be loved and accepted again. Like here you are again here right? You are this energy with the butterflies all around you again, right? Here you are again with the grapes and the harvest, right? And here you are too, like in that, in that stag where they have like this energy here and it's like the trust and thrive energy, right? You're all these energies combined together, bringing like this really beautiful, like Empress, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia energy here. You're changing a lot of things, right? Not of wands, but you had to learn right? 
you really had to learn some karmic lessons here first. And you might have learned a lot. <laughs> you might have burned through a lot learning these karmic lessons. But wow, on the other side of this strength. Wow, on the other side of this. And look, look who it is. <laughs> it's your black cat. Okay. You know, you had that guardian here beside you again, helping you to find your strength. And here you are. Look, there's a tornado in the background. You're not even looking at it. You're just like, Phew. you're not even looking at it. You're just like, Phew. you know, kind of casually. You're just like, Phew. and just, you know, taking care of shit, putting it in your background, walking away from this confusion and from this, you know, oh, I feel unknown. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who I am. I don't know what my strengths really are. I just want you to know, too, like, your spirit guys are so freaking proud of you. I think that's why I was getting so teary-eyed, because they're just like, so proud of you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so proud of you. Wow. This is such beautiful love energy. Like, you guys, woo, this feels super high vibrational. Gosh. They're so proud of you. Oh my gosh. Whoo. That is some beautiful energy, you guys. I just want you to look at how that cat's looking up at that woman. Look how proud they look. They just look so proud. They're so in awe of you and they're so proud of you. Oh my gosh. Woo. And look, the sun. This spirit is the look. Look how this cat again. Here's the same cat with the white face and the kind of like white paws. You know, you were in confusion and chaos when this kind of like dragon energy here was coming uh, coming against you. It's kind of like a faux energy. Like somebody was. There's something here though about like you're the dragon, like conquering yourself, conquering the mountain of who you are, conquering like the biggest mountain, the biggest hurdle. Would that like stand your ground? Know who you are, ground into this energy. You have to earn this energy. Oh, this is reminding me. I don't know. I don't know if I ever posted this reading. I think that I did. It was a while ago. There, there was a reading that I made that was like you have new spirit guide energies coming in to work with you, but they are kind of spirit guides that are like. I choose to work with, I choose to work with who I work with, right? And so I'll make soul contracts with people like on the spot. Like, so it's like, if I feel like you are a strong enough person and you can go through it and you are deserving kind of of this energy and you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to show up for yourself, like I will make this contract and, and me and you, we can make it do what it do, right? And we can bring in a lot of powerful change, a lot of powerful energy together, you know, but it was very much so this energy of like, you got to put in the work to own it. Like you got to show me that you're, that you're making those choices, right? That you, when you are in these moments here and you're being asked, like, do you want to fall back on what you used to do? Or do you want to be the new version of yourself? Those are all moments that the spirit guy is putting in front of you to say like, Hey, you want to be this high priestess? Prove it. Step up. Don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. Right? They work with people who are really walking the walk, who are really putting themselves out there, who are getting who are getting those downloads and it's like, okay, I'm gonna make that business. Okay, I'm gonna start that channel. Okay, uh, you know, I'm being guided to go take this class, I'm gonna take it. I'm being guided to go travel here, I'm gonna save up the money and I'm gonna do it. I'm feeling guided to to move and sell my house. Okay, I'm gonna start researching and I'm gonna go do it. Like that, I'm gonna do it. You know, this spirit guide works. And it is giving me a very masculine energy here. And that could be what's being represented by this empress or not empress, um, emperor energy here. So that's why you could be being represented by the empress energy here. And the spirit guide or this energy that wants to work with you is being represented by the emperor energy here. Because they are the ones giving and receiving. They're helping you to download, helping you to get this download. That's going to help you to create whatever this is that you, that they're asking you to create. Or that spirit is, you know, giving you the option. Like you do not have to step into your, to highest spiritual calling it's your higher spiritual destiny. It's your choice, you know, and whether or not you are 
consciously making that choice or you're unconsciously making that choice, it is your responsibility to get to the point to where you are awake enough that you start making those conscious choices, right? That you're getting to know thyself, that you're healing, that you're choosing to walk away from karmic, you know, karmic debt, that you're choosing to heal your karma, that you're choosing not to start up new karmic contracts, that you're choosing to do what's best and what's right for yourself and for the people around you and for your ultimate highest good, right? That you are bringing in that high positive energy for the collective. You put a, a vow out there, put like a thing out there. Like, I want to help people. Like, I want to do this. Like, I want to rise above and I want to answer this call. And so spirit's like, okay, put in the work. And there's something care about you putting in that work. Now you just have to ground in. You just have to ground in. and Because there, there was something here, yeah, about how you had to, it, it's almost like you had to, you know how like in, how in Game of Thrones, I don't know if any of you watch Game of Thrones, but I reference Game of Thrones all the time. In Game of Thrones, like you can be a dragon rider, but you have to bond with that dragon and you have to prove to that dragon that you are worthy of being their rider. And that's really this energy that it's giving me. Like this, like this dragon is like, sure, okay, you're a Targaryen. You got the moves, but do you got the balls? Show me. Show me that you got the balls to ride me. Show me that I should, because dragon in Game of, the, Game of Thrones, dragons are sentient, right? They know they're not just wild beasts. They know, right? And they know if you're about it, if you're, if you're or if you're not, like, you know, if you want to tame me, if you want to channel my energy, if you want me to let me, if you want me to lend my power to you and be a dragon rider, show me, right? Come up with it, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, you know, come with the energy, come with the energy that you're ready, you know, and that's what you have been surmounting here. It really hasn't been about people coming against you. It hasn't, I mean, that's been happening. I'm not taking that away from you. If it's been happening, it's been happening. But your main thing that you have been fighting is yourself. The main thing that you have been fighting is your own karma, is your own sense of, you know, trauma, overcoming, letting go, um, learning and healing old paradigms that you found yourself in, right? Healing, um, family wounds, you know, healing from those, oh, you'll never do it. You can never be that and saying, fuck that. Yes, I can. Yes, I am. I am that bitch. F you, you know, and it's this energy of you're like, you know what? I'm going to move on and I'm going to heal myself and I'm going to find the energy inside of myself to be this person that I thought I could never be, to be, you know, that better version of myself where I'm dancing in the, in the sun and then, you know, and I'm surrounded by people who love and who laugh and who love me and who care about me and show up for me. And, you know, I want to have that, that dream. You know, I have this dream of having this business or, or being this person or looking like this and feeling like this and living this kind of lifestyle. Okay. Spirit said, bet. I'll give it to you. You got to do your part though. You got to step up and you got to do your part. Your spirit guide just wants you to know. Like you, I don't think, I don't know. It might be a long time, a long time before you understand exactly how much you're overcoming. Because I think you know, but there are so many deep levels to it. There's so many spiritual levels to what you're doing. And again, spirit might have been kind of keeping you kind of, might, might have been keeping you kind of low key, like that little dog that's just like, hi, I'm here and I'm just going to do this. Because the magnitude of what you actually might be doing, the work that you're actually doing, you know, you can maybe feel it. It can maybe feel intimidating to you. But spirit is saying like, step into this calling, like step into this calling, it's yours. <gasps> oh, 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 what did I say? Look. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. what did I say? They said, if you want to be a dragon writer, okay, you better step up, okay? This is your year mama, okay? This is your year papa, okay? This is the year of the dragon. Y'all better get with it. Y'all better step up, right? Those who are really stepping into your spiritual path, if there's any year to do it, this year is the year to do it. Step into your spiritual path. The energy is there and it's ripe for the taking for those who are willing to put in the work, who are willing to step up and do that righteous energy, who are willing to jump onto the wave and do what's right. And not just jump onto the wave because it's what's trendy and it's what the energy, there's going to be people doing that too. But you, okay, those people who are being guided to this reading, you 
are the real deal. You are being guided. You know it. You know it in your bones. You know it in your spirit. You know it in your DNA. You know who you are and you know that you were supposed to have a grand purpose in this life. We all have grand purposes to ourselves, to our family lines, but you have a grand purpose out there. Okay. You have you have been the black sheep. You have been the underdog. You have been the person that people died of. You have been that that late bloomer, that pe that that person that people sleep on, that that person that people think you're stupid, you're naive, you'll never go anywhere, you'll never do anything. Nah, family. There is a greatness inside of you that is waiting for you to believe that it's there and to allow it to bloom. Okay? And that is what spirit is saying. Like it's to you. You want to be a dragon rider? You better fucking step up and ride the dragon. What? What does that sound? I think one of my cats is like messing with a plastic bag behind the door over there. And I'm like, what is all of that noise? Again, Hierophant. Okay. If you allow yourself, you are going to be you are going to be led to the right teachers to the right places, to the right information, to the right unions, to the right family, uh, you know, jobs, careers, locations, homes, okay? There's going to be a lot moving around here for you in 2024, and you can either stay the same, and you can step it back and go back, and you can step back into your karmic ways, okay, which will slowly start to happen, or... You can step up and make that change you've always wanted to make. And now is the time to do it. If you have ever thought that there was a time to do it, now, baby, is the time to do it. Now, tomorrow, yesterday, three months ago, it's fine. Now is the time. It's not time for you to be scared. It's not time for you to be second-guessing yourself. Exactly, Ten of Pentacles. This is going to lead to something so beautiful. It is going to create... A, a shift in reality, a shift in reality for your family, for your destiny. This is your destiny to step into. It is yours and it's out there, but you have to be willing to step into it. Okay. You're not going to be able to just sit there and do nothing. And your life's just going to magically turn into this 10 of pentacles here. Okay. You are going to have to step up and, and do, and, and do it. Okay. And there's something here about recognizing it and having healthy boundaries. Okay. Cause other people might be telling you, especially with that white cat down there, family energy, uh, you, you could really be overcoming some family wounds here. Hey, get off of that. Leave that alone. Ja. Hey, I wasn't talking to you, but hey. Speaking of my white speaking of my white cat. Hey. And my white dog. Hello. Yes, okay. It's time for you to take flight and soar. Okay? Your ships are coming in. Okay. The ships are coming in and they're waiting in the harbor. They're only gonna be there for so long. So you take up you take this leap of faith and you, you tonight's the night, okay? I don't know why I was reminded of um, Kiki's delivery service because I almost said tonight's the night, Kiki. Like, because it reminded me of the beginning of that movie where she's sitting there. Hold on just one second. Okay, sorry about that. It just reminded me of the beginning of Kiki's delivery service, that movie. Yes, where Kiki, you know, um, in, in that universe of that movie, like, witches exist, right? But they have to... Every witch, when they're, I think it's 11, they leave their family home and they go on their broom, you know, and get their, and take their skill set and they go and move to a new town and set up a base there and start their life there and start and make a family. And sooner enough, they'll have a daughter, have a, you know, that will move and, you know, go to a, go to the next town. Right. But you go in and you find a town that doesn't have a witch and you settle down there and you start you know, and you, and you start and you make a whole foundation and you make a whole family, you make a whole ten of pentacles for yourself. And there is something here about the fact that you've been praying for these ships to come in and here they are. Your way out, your way is here. The energy is here for you to create this, for you to jump into it, for you to create that business and your, for your bank account to blow up and for you to live wherever you want or move wherever you want or the opportunities are coming and they're about to be knocking on your door, okay? They're going to be landing in your messenger. They're going to be knocking on your door. They're going to be around the corner and they're going to be right here. 
You have been spending this time and this winter energy getting ready for this, okay? Getting ready for this energy. And here it is. And the, and you see the ships. You've been waiting three of three of wands. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting for those ships to come in. Here they are. The ships are there. But you're way up here. And all spirit is waiting for you to do is take that leap of faith and fly down there for that ship and get on, right? Walk away. Walk away from whatever it is that's been holding you back. Let go of that four of pinnacles, whatever it is that's been holding you down. And write your own story. Write your own story. Create your own future here. Don't allow what other people, how other people see you, how other people come against you, what other people want to project onto you. Don't allow that, you know, to hold you down exactly, devil energy. Don't allow this devil energy to hold you back. Okay? Yeah, because six because six of cups, three of cups, there's a lot of energies out there waiting for you to step onto this path and, and to have this to have their interactions with you. There's so many things lined up waiting for you in the future, you know? And this energy is sitting here going. All you have to do is show me that you're willing and you're brave enough to step up and take that leap of faith. You know, it takes a certain type of pe a person to jump on to you know to jump onto a dragon's back and to ride that, okay? Can you handle the dragon? Okay. <laughs> Can you handle the dragon? And I really feel like there is this person inside of you. You know? And I think you know it. I, th I think you know it. And you've known it for a very long time. You've probably known it for your whole life. Yeah. And while you're out there, you know, turning into that queen of pentacles and multiplying this life when this comes in for you. It's, it's showing you just be an open heart. Be that queen. Be that open hearted queen. Be willing to step up. Right. Be willing to have the boundaries that you need to have with that queen of swords. It showed itself. All the queens have showed themselves. Right. And here, all the kings. King of wands is the only one that hasn't showed himself. And that's the masculine energy. Only thing that hasn't showed itself is your that masculine drive to get up and to do it. To show that you are ready to jump on this dragon's back and that you will do it. And that's what spirit says, you know, will of fortune, now is your time. Now is your time to do it. Commit to this. Ground your energy in this. Commit to this. Four of Wands. You're you're allowing heartbreak from your past to keep you in a state of I'm not sure. It's like some kind of doubt, some kind of fear, some kind of doubts. Like something you've been through in the past has put fears and doubts in your mind and kept you in the state of like feeling like I can't do it. I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I can do it. Ace of Wands. It's that time. All right. You know, spirit is saying it's that yeah, ace of swords. That's the truth. There's that ace of swords. We were missing the ace of swords and we were missing the king of wands. Now is the time. There's some kind of information that's about to come out, come out to you that's really about to help you to really get into that king of wands energy. Right? Because we were talking about the how all the other aces had, had showed themselves. To make up that magician, that person who was willing, who was able to ground in this energy, and you were missing the ace of wands or the ace of the ace of swords. Something about allowing this ace of the ace of wands is yours. It's yours. It's already in your vortex. You've already manifested it in. The grid has already been laid, and it's been laid for a very long time. All you have to do is allow. Is to put yourself in the energy of allowing. And there's something here. It's actions you need to do. Steps you need to take. To align yourself, mind, body, and soul with this energy. Tweaking. Slight tweaking. Spirit is saying. You know. Go to bed a little bit earlier. Get up a little. You know. Go to bed a little bit earlier. Get up a little bit earlier. You know, get up and meditate or get up and take a walk, go to the gym. There's some, it's just like slightly switching around your schedule is going to change a lot of the energy that you're in. Tower. I really feel like there's a tower moment coming in here that could have been inspired by five of wands energy, 
but it's bringing a lot of stars, bring a lot of healing energy here and for you. Yeah. Again, right? There's that black cat at your feet, you know, and you have that bouquet of roses. And that bouquet of roses is like the roses that you're giving out here in the six of wands here. And then look what you're wearing too. <laughs> you're, you're wearing almost the same outfit except now your outfit, instead of just having a plain red dress on, now you have a red dress that has a gold dragon on it. Look at that. Hello? Once you've incorporated that golden energy, that golden dragon energy in here, you'll be able to give out that energy to others like we talked about. There's something here about you being willing and being very happy and gayfully, joyfully, right? Going on this journey of discovering, like, what are my powers? What am I doing? What's my purpose? And going there, right? It's kind of like that Kiki's like, Kiki's like, it's time for me to go. Tonight's the night. Uh, you know, it's time for me to go off on my own and find out what I'm, you know, make a life for myself. This is what I'm really supposed to be doing. I really feel like you needed to learn that, you know, there are sharks out there. There, you know, there are people that you can't trust out there. There are people that wear masks that try to, you know, invade your life or try to lead you off path. Don't be so willing to give away your power or your love or your energy or pieces of yourself to people, you know? Don't be so willing to shut down your energy because other people shed that you should. It's kind of stuff like that where it's like, don't allow people to project so much of who of who they want you to be or who they think you are, you know, and have that really bring you down. Because if you know thyself, if you know who you are, if you know you're that dragon rider, who cares what anybody else thinks about you? Who cares? Don't nobody care. <laughs> Especially not a dragon rider. And Spirit said that you were in a pause energy. That's why you were in this uh, 11, uh, I almost said 11, 11 energy. Hey, stop it. That's why you were in this energy to begin with. Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. You might have felt very much so cornered and felt like a lot of people's energy came out came out against you. And spirit is saying, like, there's something here about you learning how to to like I don't care. I don't care who's against me. I don't care who who has something to say against me. But this time, this time right here is passing. You learned from this from this energy, right? You learn from this energy. So there is something here about, you know. Not everybody is going to be okay with the fact that you're a dragon rider. Not everybody's going to accept you. Not everybody's going to love you. You might even have people, you might, in fact, you might even have people that despise you for it. You might have people that despise you for your light. You might have people, you know, that think that you're naive. And who cares? Like, don't let them kill your spirit. Don't take on their energy. Don't take on their, their judgment. Don't take on their heaviness. Don't take on their karma. Don't take on what they have going on here. You're taking on way too much of their energy, of other people's energy. You're taking on way too many opinions and way too many, no, you should do this and no, you should do that. And here, carry this for me and don't do that. And, you know, and this is also stuff from your childhood. You know, people have put fears and doubts and all kind of stuff, just landfill piled up on top of you, you know, shame and guilt and pain and all kind of stuff in spirit saying, drop it, <laughs> drop it, let it go. You know, and that's what you're doing here. That's what you have been doing here in this hermit energy. Hey, get get out from back behind there. Woo. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, the hangman. Hey. Hey, baby. Yeah, walk away. Walk away from the troubled waters of your past and for things that you've been through, for things, the ways people have stirred up stirred up issues and drama and all kind of stuff, you know, being like, but I'm not that person. I don't know. There's some kind of persecution element here. You know, this definitely could be past life karma that you're coming through, that you're working through as well. Exactly. Cut this off, open this new door and, and, and get in your peace, get in your bag, work on your, you know, work on your garden, 
work on yourself. Don't worry about what other, you know, be in peace energy and don't worry about what other people are fucking worried about and what they're doing. Who cares? You know, that, that keeps you in this energy right here. Spirit says you have a calling and they're telling you, Hey, you have an opportunity to go on, you know, to drop this 10 of wands and to have that and go on this journey here. And you're being guided to do that, right? There's that same orange cat, your abundance and, you know, your energy is telling you, Hey, drop all that energy and let's go. Find the strength inside of you that you need to become this dragon rider, that you need to become that king of wands energy. The king of wands still hasn't come out because you haven't found that energy yet inside of you. You need to put in the work to find it. Yeah. Plan and organize and, and go out to the future. Yeah. Find your peace. Find your peace. Find your solace. Find, you know, um, yeah, I'm hearing that quote, you know, what is it? Self, uh, self-esteem is, is built by doing esteemable acts. You know, you see, you know, if you, if you see somebody doing something or trying something or you're like, wow, I'm really impressed by that person or I, I really admire that person for, for doing that. Well, there's something inside of you that's saying like, hey, I, I in some type of way want to be inspired by that person. I want to be inspired by their want to do that. Or, you know, it, there's something there inside of it, you know, and instead of allowing it to inspire jealousy or regrets or maybe even tearing yourself down, feeling like, oh, I'm not smart enough or I'm not pretty enough. I'll, I'd never be able to pull that off. You know, go with it. <laughs> Heal that inside of you that tells yourself you're too whatever to, to fulfill your dreams or to do things that make you happy or, you know, kind of conquer those things inside of you. Because riding the dragon asks you to conquer a lot of your fears and a lot of your insecurities and a lot of, not all at once, you know. And just because you're a dragon rider doesn't mean you're perfect, doesn't mean that you, you know, that you don't have fear. There aren't still fears and things, but taking that leap of faith and getting strong enough to really just shoot, to shoot your shot and, and put it out there and really go for it, you know, and this message is as much for me as it is for you guys, I promise. So, wow, this is really beautiful. It's kind of all over, not all over the place actually, but it was, that was a whole journey that we went through. Um, I really appreciate you guys being here with me. I really, you know, I hope that this gave you the love and clarity and the inspiration that you needed, um, the kind of kicking butt in your energy that you needed to get out there and really start doing what you need to do again. I thank every single one of you for being out there, for taking the time and the energy to be out here, liking, subscribing, um, watching this reading, being open to receiving this information from your spirit guides. Good for you. You know, speaking of them, thank you to your angel spirit ancestors and guides for being here today for guiding you to get this information okay i hope that it gave you the love light clarity that you were looking for in your situation um thank you to my spirits angels guardians ancestors and guides for helping me um to deliver this message as well as keeping me safe while i did so um if you guys feel guided to share like subscribe you know, donate. Thank you to everyone who does. If you feel guided to work in a personal reading with me, my contact information is down below. Okay. And, um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today as always. And I will see you lovers in the next ones. Okay. Bye.